welcome to the Handyverse. Today we're going to show you how we patched a hole in this pipe. Stick with us. Poopy pipe. Poopy pipe. <laughs> Today we're doing a little project, hopefully little, uh, doing a little patch repair so that we can continue to proceed with our laundry room makeover. Today we'll be patching this hole in this drain pipe. It looks like it might just be seeping out a little bit. Um, the previous owners had patched this hole with a piece of wood, a wood stick, which didn't hold up over the test of time. Our solution, hopefully, is a little bit more semi-permanent. We know it's not permanent without replacing the entire pipe. So we picked up this kit. It's called Freeze Fix Pipe and Hose Repair Kit. Um, we have no idea if it's going to do the job or not, but we're going to find out. So the first step is to clean out the hole, but before doing that, it's important to make sure that uh, there's no pressure there, otherwise um, the gunk in the hole might come back at you. Um, in this case, it's a drain pipe, so we know we're, we're okay. Um, but just in case, I'm gonna make Jason do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try drilling in a, a screw into this and pulling out what remains there. Hopefully this isn't too disgusting. camera up a little bit. Oh god. I'm scared. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Did you get it on you? No. That's more rotten than I thought though. I have to get some more tools to help uh, clean that out I think. Okay I'm gonna try drilling it and uh, just getting the drill bit in there and then pulling it out with the drill bit. See what happens there. Okay, that's what we wanted. It's clear. It's actually a little bit cleaner than I thought, so that's a good thing. Just trying to clean that up as much as we can before we add the putty and then the uh, fiberglass wrap on top of it. The first step it says is to blend this putty. Um, and then within before it hardens to apply it onto the hole and taper out the edges which will then wrap it with tape but um, I was just I'm wondering if this is going to be enough we have a pretty big hole there and I'm kind of questioning the kit because it looks like it's for pretty small holes but we'll we'll see we have no choice at this point but I'm blending the two-part epoxy putty until there are no black specks remaining with moist hands so it doesn't stick to my hand, apparently. Like, do I want it to kind of go no, in? No, go in the hole. Go in the hole? Yeah, make it go in the, like, make it go in the hole. I and, did. And then spread it out around and try to make it, like, flat around. I think, I haven't used it before either. It says to taper out the edges. Yeah. It's definitely in. I don't want it to go all the way in because it, I mean, it would continue to go in. Right. My hand, my hands are stiff. I think we should have opted for a new wooden stick. <laughs> Do you, would, would your inspector eyes say that that's tapered enough? Or I keep tapering it? I mean, it doesn't hurt because there's no hole here. Let me see. I think it's important that it's tapered well and stuck on the bottom because that's where it's going to but run. If it's going to leak at yeah, all. Yeah, it's going to leak. looks even that alone is better than the wooden stick okay so the putty's up next step is we need to wrap uh, the around the putty around the hole with this tape uh, the instructions say to put on gloves 
didn't say safety glasses, but I figure if I need gloves, it won't hurt. Um, so we need to wet the tape thoroughly, and then we're going to wrap around, um, starting from the bottom, because um, we're concerned whether or not we're going to have enough tape, because this is a wider pipe. Um, and it, ideally we're going to get 8 to 10 layers around the actual hole or leak itself and we're going to apply tension as we go around continuously. You got it? No, go your way a little. There. You got it? Yep. Do you have it good? Because I have to pull it. Yep. I mean, it's pretty wide. Okay, I gotta let go to, in order for you to get around. Just oh, pull it tight. Two wraps. All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now I know why you wanted me to do this. <laughs> I pulled up the stick. <laughs> Just keep my mouth closed. <laughs> so we're a little shy of the eight to ten wraps, given that we only got two. Um, so, run into a little bit of a hiccup here, and it is a Sunday night. Um, but we're gonna see what we can find. We're gonna see if we can find some more tape because at this point we're committed to this project. We left this for an hour, and um, although we got, we only got two wraps on this, we're really impressed with how it uh, has bonded to the pipe, and uh, and it does cover the lower half of the hole. We uh, we picked up some. Flex tape at, uh, at Walmart. It was the only thing we could find uh, this time of day. Um, but looking at this now, we kind of think that um, this is probably sufficient as it is. We don't necessarily recommend this for everybody. Uh, ideally, you know, even with the instructions, it says eight to ten wraps, but uh, we got two. Um, but there's no pressure on this. It, it's a, it's a drain. It goes by so. We're gonna we're gonna leave it like this, and we're going to keep an eye on it over the next few days, and uh, hope that no uh, no poopy water drips on you during uh, laundry time. <laughs> and we are going to place this uh, pipe in the future, so uh, for now we think this is a sufficient solution for us. Time will tell, but we will keep an eye on it. Um, like I said, maybe not uh, the ideal fix, but uh, certainly certainly much better than the. Uh, wooden stick that was in there before. Seeing how this sealed, uh, we were quite impressed with the product. Uh, it does seem like it really gripped on there. The putty hardened very well. The tape hardened and, and bonded very well. Uh, obviously, I think the package is designed for a smaller pipe, but... Um, it would have been nice for them to say how much tape was in the package, I think, it would be a criticism. Unless it does say that. Yeah, it does it. say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I never really looked at that. I mean, it was part of the package and we needed the package to do Whatever. it. So, yeah. Uh, it's only 30 inches, if, if you're wondering. Bottom line, at this point, we would recommend the product, but um, we'll, make it, we'll post some comments down below if in the future we notice that it starts behaving um, differently. Yeah. Yeah, so far so good. And uh, definitely did the job for us. Now that we have that fixed, we can move on to the rest of the laundry room makeover and, uh, and really try and get this room put together. It's been in an awful state for a few weeks now, so... Um, weeks. Months. <laughs> months. Anyway, uh, if you want to catch the rest of that, hit like, hit subscribe, and we will uh, see you in the next video. Hi, welcome to the... <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Handyverse. Today we're going to show you how we patch... Stop it! <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Like